Hi, I'm Peter Burley, the co-author of Zambezi. I'm here today with my son Jonathan, the other co-author, and our friend Harold Oral, who is doing the photography for us. Uh, we're going to tell you about Zambezi. Uh, Zambezi is going to be our seventh game published by Burley Games. Other titles you may have heard of include Take It Easy and Camisado, uh, but this is our first Kickstarter project. Okay, now let's look at the, the artwork. First of all, we have the box. Uh, the busy box looks like this. And the back looks like that. Next, we have the, the board. And the board has a very nice Zambezi logo on it. It's on the, printed on the quarter of it, so when you fold it up, you can still see the Zambezi logo. And I've now got to try and open this out the right way up so that you can see it. And here we go. So, the board looks like this. And now we're going over to our friends in London. Up and then, hi, I'm Xavier, and I've chosen the cheetah because it's very fast, accurate, and again, it's much larger prey than themselves. Hi, I'm Chris. I've chosen the gorilla because I've got a few of these. I end up walking up. Hi there, my name is Pedro, and I picked the lion because he's the king of the jungle and he feeds not all the animals. My name's Pauline and I chose the flamingo because apart from it being one of my favourite colours, I find them to be very graceful birds. Welcome back to Frimley. Okay, now we're going to have a quick trip around the board to um, see the dangers that you face as you travel around. So if we start here at Victoria Falls, uh, we go up the safe, relatively safe section to start with. There's a single croc there. If you land on him, you will need to burn one fuel on your next turn. Then we come to some rocks. Rocks are very nasty indeed. And if you land on a rock, you immediately lose a crew member overboard and it may take you a turn or two to, to get yourself off of the rocks. Moving forward, we've got some more crocs here and then we have the yellow line which marks the end of the safe water zone. Any two boats colliding on spaces beyond the, beyond the yellow line will immediately both lose a crew member overboard which is not very good. So, we have two more crocs and then we have a nice space here which is a landing stage. Uh, a boat landing here um, has the option of choosing either of the treasures on there and loading them onto their tugboat control board. Moving on from here we see some very nasty crocs, five on one space, you wouldn't want to land on them because that takes away a third of your total fuel supply. So you avoid them if you possibly can. From that point onwards, we um, travel around the board, meeting lots of challenges similar to the similar 
to the crocs uh, and rocks and there's more opportunities to, to get treasure and towards the end of the game you come to this other really nasty area here which has loads of crocs lurking on that corner just waiting to snap you up and if you get past those then there's a double set of rocks there which are also very difficult into the last straight section two more crocs another rock uh, last chance to get some treasure and then you come down this safe section here and you need to cross the orange line and enter Lake Kariba at which point you have finished your expedition. And now we're going over to our friends in London. Hello, my name is Jerome and my favourite animal is the gorilla because you need to be a real silverback to survive in some busy. Which animal represents me? I say the, the cheetah. Uh, Fast, but don't last too long, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 uh, I like cheetahs because they're really fast and they look like me when I've had chicken pups. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good enough? What else? Hi, my name's Chris. I've chosen the cheetah because he's so quick, he's difficult to catch up with. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready. I'm Chris, and this is the flamingo. Why does the flamingo stand on one leg? We don't know. Because if he'd lifted the leg up, he'd fall in. Oh. Easy is a race game driven by cards, but there's much more to it than that. There are several ways to score, either by coming high up in the finishing order, or by collecting treasures on the way around, or by making documentaries about the animals that are featured in the, in the game. Um, there's a resource management element. Each player starts with 5 crew and 15 fuel, and these must be used wisely throughout the game. This video does not attempt to cover gameplay. Uh, for that, you need to uh, look at the longer version, which is available in the Kickstarter project description. You should be aware that Zambezi can become a very competitive game. There are a number of ways in which you can uh, stitch up your opponents. Uh, one of those is when you're choosing the cars that you use to move around the river. Um, your choice of card, as well as deciding how far you move, can also affect your opponent uh, by depriving them of the cards they, they need, then you can make life very difficult for them. Uh, another thing you can do, if, uh, if you have more crew members than one of your opponents, and when, when two boats collide, they both lose a crew member. So you can be mean to them in that you could deliberately collide with their boat and uh, both boats will lose a crew member and because they have less crew than you, you will push them closer to elimination. Okay, so um, Zambezi is going to be our first Kickstarter project. So uh, we, due to the fact we've already published six board games successfully, we are very confident that we can deliver a fantastic product through the help of supporters in Gamesland. We are looking to raise £5,000 to make this project a success, so please help us to reach this goal. Uh, we don't want to bother you all with details such as pledge levels, so please could you go and take a look at our Kickstarter project on the World Wide Web, um, and we really would be grateful for your support. Thanks very much. And so, now we're off to London for the final time. Thank you very much for watching our video and we hope you can give us your support for this project. Thank you. Gorillas. 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 Um, I'm like a big gorilla. I even got a little gorilla, what, what are they called? <laughs> I mean gorillas. Gorillas are scary, just like my dad. <laughs> the more animals you have, the better, right? Yes. Because it's like, like an extra
expedition they take to see the effect. That's a special card. It hasn't got a number. It's a special card. I see it now. Maybe I'll see some liberal messages in there. Yeah, probably. Okay, cool. Okay. That's a joke. Okay. It is a joke card. We should have a little joke in this one. It's not a joke. We've got a card. Yeah, it's a cheetah. Okay, okay. are so good, they made a dance out of it. Hola, my name is Jose. I like flamenco. Cha cha cha. Did you ever see snakes on the plane? I did. Don't like it. No. <laughs> I just realised my card isn't the number one card. They've all got number one cards. Ah. <laughs>